Welcome back to Crafters TV. Uh, my name's Joe, and we have got a fantastic needle craft show uh, for you coming up over the next couple of hours. We have got back in stocks, we have got awesome patterns, uh, we've also got all the accessories that you could need, and some fabulous metal dies that are going to enable you to quilt up an absolute storm. We've also, as well, managed to get a fabulous guest for the next two hours. And it is, of course, uh, our, our, the, well, the intermittent, in, no, I can't say that word, can I? En, en, enigmatic? No. What's the word I'm going for, Johnny? Johnny can't say it either. Johnny can't say it either. Let's go with the lovely Bernie Corners here. How are you, Bernie? Yeah, I'll take, I'll take that, Joe. I don't know what word you were trying to, enigmatic? Was that Enig no, it was in, in, in the midst of, no, I can't, sorry. <laughs> Intermittent, maybe. <No. laughs> How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Joe. I'm pleased to be back, and I am so excited with the first thing you're going to show on the show, because I've been, I've been a bit naughty and telling everyone on Facebook about it. <laughs> been telling all your mates to buy it when the deals went live. I mean, that is what I call an unfair advantage, uh, Bernie. It really, really is. Uh, but anyway, when it sells out as many times as it has, you need to get hold of this fabric. What I would say is, uh, I know, Bernie, what you've got to do, just inspire us a little bit, Bernie. What sort of demonstrations are we going to see over the next couple of hours? Well, I'm going to show you how to make this fab little pink cushion. How Ooh. cute is that? With obviously could you sneak make that into fabric. a dicky bow? You could, yeah. You yeah. just put extra elastic on. I brought extra elastic so I can make one for you if you want. I think and, it'd be great. And what else am I? What else have I got? What else have I got? Oh, I'm making. So we've got our pattern packs on the show, but I'm actually going to make using the pattern pieces. I'm going to make a drawstring bag with it. So it's not even on the pattern. It's something else you can use with the pattern pieces. So. <sighs> I'm looking forward to it. Sounds fabulous, Bernie. It's going to be a fantastic show, uh, especially because all you guys are going to get involved as we go through as well. Patty saying hi from Michigan. Ellen is in from Scranton. Uh, I can see Sarah here from Australia. Hi, Sarah. Uh, Fred is uh, in with us. Uh, Rennie is here too, as is Lisa. Uh, Katie Henderson is looking forward to seeing what Bernie does with all these fabulous new fabrics, as we are, as I am as well. Now, what I need to say to you is you need to get over to the website. If you want these fabrics, you need to get over there ASAP, really, because it is super busy already on them. Uh, they sold out, we restocked them, they're selling out again and we've managed to get a little bit more. We were actually worried that when we came to the show today we weren't going to have, um, we, we were worried we are going to have less than half of these to bring to air for you, but we've managed to secure stock on all of them. So let me take you through exactly uh, what you are getting here with these, which is fantastic. They are from the Craft Cotton Company, who are a fantastic UK-based uh, company. They're actually based not far from me, uh, in Manchester. Uh, they are absolutely awesome. And what they bring us are fantastic quality 
quilting uh, quality cottons. Now the great thing is that the printing on these is just stunning it is so so vivid and i know uh, that you're going to have an absolute joy um turning these into gorgeous things i think some of the patterns especially the jungle ones one like i've got just here would really work well for things like baby's bibs maybe even book cushions as well i think they would be absolutely gorgeous for that so you've got this one here now this one is the jungle leaves green a third of the stock as this one has already sold out and gone. If you want to get that, I'd pop it into your basket. Just to let you know, as a Club Inspired Platinum member, £2.79 or £3.99 per half metre is what you're looking at. If you wanted to go for all nine of the uh, options that we have for you today, as a Platinum member, you're looking at £25.11 or uh, $35.91, which is great to get what, four and a half metres of fabric. The other thing I would say to you as well is because we cut our fabrics by the metre, it means that uh, where possible, if you're ordering multiples of these, we will cut it on the meterage for you. So say you ordered four of this one, uh, which is your uh, your jungle leaf sa salmon, uh, we would send you a two metre piece. Uh, half the stock of the jungle leaf salmon has gone. My favourite, I think, because it's got a little bit of a 70s vibe, 70s vibe to it, which I adore, is this. It's the Geo Triangles Mustard. Really, it's got almost a bit of an Aztec vibe to it. 40% of that one has sold out and gone. We've then got this one. Uh, this is the most popular. Do you know what, Johnny? That surprises me. It does. I thought this one was going to be uh, the most popular, or the lovely, uh, or maybe this one, but no. It's also this one. So how much of this one's gone here, Johnny? 60% of the leaves sage has gone. Be quick for that one. Uh, that might make a nice, um, you know, lining to maybe one of the bolder ones. I love this because I am just loving that navy and blush colour pattern. Half of this has gone. It's your second favourite. Uh, 349 or 499 per half meter. Uh, it goes beautifully. It will go beautifully with as well. The next one I'm about to show you, the navy flower spots, which is beautiful. Again, it's that gorgeous navy uh, and blush with the ditzy. Let me just show you the two together because I think they are an awesome combo. Those two right there. I do love a clashing pattern. You know, I think they are. Well, they are they clashing patterns? I guess they are a little bit. They're opposing patterns, aren't they? But it works so beautifully because what the Craft Cotton Company are so good at doing is picking out uh, tones and patterns that are going to work beautifully together. This is gorgeous, kind of like a muted. This is the jungle leaves lilac. It's kind of like a muted lilac. It's almost borderline a bit of a got a bit of brown in it. I would say uh, forty percent of that one has sold out and gone. Oh, love this one. Probably uh, up there as one of my favourites. Again, this dusky pink one would work gorgeously with either the leaves or it'd work gorgeously with this one here as well. It's completely up to you. But if you want to go for that one, the Geo Triangle Dusky, very, very busy on that one right there. All of these, remember, that gorgeous quilting quality cotton. Half of the Geo's gone. Uh, and finally, the light blue leaves as well. Uh, again, this, of course, uh, the matching one for that. Uh, a third of the stock of this one has now sold out and gone. Uh, so do make sure uh, you get your hands on those. Uh, right, loads of other stuff coming up in the show for you as well. In fact, let's just take uh, a few of the highlights uh, of what is coming up. Uh, we've got some backpacks uh, on the show, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I love a backpack. I just bought a new one uh, over the weekend. But these are your, uh, your Threaders Pattern Pack Collection with four elements. Uh, so you've got lunch on the go and you've got your weekend bag in there as well. Uh, so you can see uh, you've got the two different patterns in there for you. Um, so do grab those. Great price on those. Uh, now, the Quilters Guild, someone that we are really lucky to be able to work with, a really uh, esteemed um, charitable foundation uh, that we have worked closely with to put together some really classic... Uh, quilt sort of patterns or quilt um, blocks for you, but making it much, much easier with our, uh, of course, really high quality dyes. You've got Kaleidoscope Wheel, Geometric Bloom, and Coxcomb Applique in here as well. £69 or $78 if you want to go uh, for that one. Uh, we've also got for you the Quilting Border Guides, a uh, five beads collection here, four of the, the uh, quilting borders, and you get the gloves in there, £54 or $78. Of course, you can use your Club Inspired discount on these as well. Uh, we've also got some panels, love these panels, always so popular when you see them. Check out the saving, £32 or $46 is your saving. Platinum members or anywhere, anyone in our club is going to save even more than that as well. Uh, we've also got some uh, 
Patchworks dies on the show for you as well. You get 16 dies in here in total. Uh, these are fantastic. If you've been thinking about dabbling in soft craft, but you are not a sewer, these are your friend, along with some adhesives. We'll talk to Bernie more about that as we go through the show. Don't miss out on those. And we've also got the zips on a roll. Uh, we've got a collection for you, which is this one here, which represents the best value for money. However, uh, if you want to get a deeper a range of colours, check the website because we have loads and loads and loads of them uh, available individually for you as well, which is fantastic. So definitely uh, pop yourself over there and have a look at those. Uh, but we're going to come back or start with, I should say, the Threaders Pattern Pack Collection, which are these here. They make four different styles of bags. So you've got two patterns in each, um, but they are a really good size, these Bernie, aren't they? They are absolutely fantastic. I mean, when you see the, the, the picture on the front of the weekend bag, it doesn't, doesn't do it justice when you see it, what I've got here. I mean, look at the size of it. It's massive. It's huge. You, you can do, have a week away in that, then mind a weekend. <laughs> but also as well, because you're getting those pattern pieces, you can then make a smaller one. There's this pocket pouch on the front here, what you could do is actually just make that and make it into a little... Um, clutch bag or a, a makeup pouch or something like that so there's lots of different parts of the pattern that you can use which is what i'm going to do today so that's the weekend bag one and then the other one which is the lunch on a go on the go on a go on the go on the go on the i was reading into mittens i was reading into mittens there <laughs> i don't even know I, that doesn't even mean that as well so everyone's going to be laughing it doesn't mean that bernie shush <laughs> So this is the lunch on the go and in here you get the pattern to make a fab cushion the lunch bag which I absolutely love and what we've got here and I know these are out of stock now we've got snap fasteners on the side of this one so you can actually make it customize it so you can make it without that or pop them on as well and then you're getting a little velcro tab you could use um, your snap fastener on there or a button we've got the button factory later on as well which oh, I think that might have sold out as well um, but that means everyone's got one now so I can show you how to use it and then we've got the bottle bag as well so this is great because you can make the strap as long as you like and then obviously if you're going out for your daily walks or your exercise you can take your bottle out you could use um, the like insole bright um, wadding so it can keep it hot or cold as well so if you're taking a flask of tea um, oh how about a lovely little gift bag for a bottle of champagne oh, or something yes. like that yes Champagne, darling. Yes, that's a brilliant idea. I never thought of it as a gift bag, actually, because it is. I love it? that you said flask of tea, I said bottle of fizz. But, sums yeah. us, kind of sums <laughs> us up, really, doesn't it? I'm a bit of an old lush, I think, is what you can deduce from that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, Joe, I'm going to show um, something different that you can make with the pattern pieces that you get for the cushion. So you're getting a lovely big circle. So if I move them out the way... I've moved that one out of the way. I've got my little stand next to me here today, so if you see me going like that, I've got, I'm going to have a nice little tidy pile down here that I will tidy up Quite after tidy. the Because who, who's coming up next after me? I'll be in trouble, won't I? Believe? Sarah's in after you. Is, oh, right. I'll, yeah, it'll definitely be tidied up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So what you get in the pattern pack itself, so you're getting full instructions, which is great. And the other good thing with our instructions is we love to give you those, um, the visual element as well. So every step, you've got that picture in there so you can follow it through and you can see how many steps you've got here going all the way through and then the one on the back for the cushion there. So we're giving you all of that detail and the pattern itself is really good quality paper and it's all on one sheet. I'm not going to open it all out, but what you can see is you've got all of the pieces. You can see there, we've got all of the pieces all there. The little arrows to tell you how to put lie them on your fabric for your straight of grain as well, so you get everything facing the correct way. So you're getting all of that. So what you're going to do before you start, obviously decide which one you're going to make, cut out the pattern pieces, and then you can, you know, start, start your cutting out when you're sewing. So the other thing as well that works really well with the pattern packs is the paper pattern spray i love 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 this spray and what this is it's a temporary adhesive so when you spray it on it it doesn't feel sticky at all once you put it onto your fabric your pattern piece onto your fabric and then apply heat that's going to activate the glue and it sticks it like those you know them little yellow sticky pad that you can peel on and off them ones so you it's awesome. like that so you can reuse them i've used them a, a lot 
a lot it doesn't they do last quite a well i will say i probably use mine about 10 times before i reapply but you can reapply it as well so you know it does you, you do get value this is my tin i've used it loads and i've got loads left in it as well so it does last a while so what i thought i'd make was a little circle drawstring bag using that circle piece that you get in the pattern i've got how I've got have you yours. managed to narrow it down to which fabric you're going to choose? I know. Me? Well, I chose when I was prepping. So before, when we get the list of what's going to be on the show, and I've got to choose. And I was like, oh, well, I want one of all of them. It's a bit Aztec, isn't it? This is lovely, this one. It's like a very deep, it's mustard. So it's like a deep mustard, like an orangey mustard. But it's absolutely fantastic. I've gone on that with a lot of people sat with that in their basket as well, Bernie. I don't think that these fabrics are going to last the first half of the show at this rate, you know. No, well, it's probably my fault because, like I say, I did. <laughs> once I saw this. Gone... There's no probably about it, Bernie. As far I know. As I'm it's I'll... absolutely. Shall I tell you what happened, Joe? Fault. I'll tell you what happened. So last night, I got, I went, um, so yesterday afternoon, I went online and I'd seen that everything had come up for the show. So I went online and told all my friends about them. All my friends being everyone in Sewing with Crafters Companion Facebook group. So if you're not in that group, join. I think we've got over six and a half thousand people in there now. And obviously everyone saw that I'd posted it and jumped on, jumped on, nodded it. So then last night, it was about 10 to 11, I had a little panic. And I thought, there's going to be no fabric left on the show. So I'm there on my emails, emailed the girls in head office and say, can we get some more fabric, please? Because <laughs> we've sold it please. all. Please. And then I got a lovely email this morning saying, we've managed, we'll see if we can do it. And we've got in touch with the suppliers and managed to get some more. So, but then that sold out and then we've had to go back to them again. So we're on the third lot now, but it just shows how and lovely, I mean, it, apparently. it's a lovely, lovely quality, Joe. Like you say, it's a really lovely quilt and cotton. The colours are great. I placed my order at about half past ten this morning. So I thought I need to get some. So I chose the navy spot flower and the green leaves as well. I ordered, I ordered Ooh, those ones. Need to yeah. let you know, sorry, Bernie, the navy spot flower <gasps> uh, is that gone? limited stock. <gasps> That's the one that, yeah. Stock. I, I ordered and so is the jungle one. leaves blue. Well, this pleases me because... There you go. I said that would make a fab combo, uh, and you clearly agreed. Uh, if these are in your basket, please check them out because you will miss out on it. This is your last call if you want to go for those. Wouldn't they look beautiful? Beautiful, uh, beautiful used together those, don't you think, Bernie? Oh, definitely. They all got. That's a good thing with Craft Cotton Company. They they're spot on with the colours that they put together. So you would think, you know, will that pink or with that with that lilac, with that blue, with that green, and looking at the colours separately you would think mm, they wouldn't go but once you put them together it shows how they really complement them i love this geometric one i mean everyone knows i love my geometric patterns um but yeah so i'm going to make this circle drawstring bag show you how easy it is so i've got some of the fabric what i've done is i've folded it in half and i've placed my piece now for the cushion panel you get a semicircle and it tells you to put cut on the fold so i've got it on the fold there now what you do is on your paper you lightly spray it with the pattern spray now i've already sprayed this one so i'm only going to spray this one half so you can see that this has been used a few times so it is reusable so i'm just going to give that a little spray and what to know is pattern spray different to basting spray oh now i've never used basting spray now i'm thinking basting spray is more like i was stick and stay uh, stick and spray okay. which is the temporary adhesive for layering up um, when you're layering up your, your quilt layer into your fabric and your wadding, etc. Okay. Um, so I would say that this is probably different. Um, awesome. But I say I've never actually used any called a basin spray, but I think that's what it is. So I've just lightly sprayed that on there and I've let it dry. Um, it, you, it doesn't take long. And it feels, you can feel it a little bit. You can feel something's there, but it's not sticky. So I'm going to put it onto my fabric like that and i'm just lining it up on the fold and then what i'm going to do is take my iron so you're just going to give it a little bit of an iron and what it's doing is that heat is activating so this is the side that i stuck today that i've sprayed again today and this side i sprayed oh quite a while ago to be honest um but look it's not coming off fabulous so it's not coming off that's sticking on there so now what this does it takes away the um need for pins for when you're cutting it out because when you are cutting out let me just get that iron out the way when you are cutting out obviously 
if you've got your rotary cutter or your scissor or anything, you could catch yourself on the pins. If someone was a beginner, what would you recommend, rotary cutters or scissors for cutting around these? So I would say, if you've never used a rotary cutter before, then definitely give it a try. But if you're totally, totally new, then I would, I would get comfortable with scissors first. Okay. Cutting fabric. But then with a, with a um, rotary cutter, I would say don't try freehand rotary cutting straight away, which is what I'm going to do on this circle. But when you're cutting the rectangle pieces out, as long as you've got your ruler, you can use your ruler because the ruler is protecting your hand away from the blade anyway as well. So... Right, so when you cut now freehand, always keep your fingers behind the blade. I haven't quite got that lined up on the fold very well, but I'm sure you'll forgive me. And you're just going to go around until you feel that it's becoming a little bit awkward and then move your work or move your mat. So I'm using our A2 mat today, which I could have moved, but I didn't want to upscuttle everything on my desk. So. <laughs> Uh, that navy flower spots has gone. If it's in your basket, please remove it. Congratulations uh, if you've got your hands on that. Well done, everyone. It is lovely. Honestly, fastest finger first today, isn't it? I know. Well, I, I did order a little bit of it, so... <laughs> <laughs> so I've got an absolutely perfect circle there. Now, if you try to do that um, freehand, what's going to happen is it, it's not going to be as neat. Okay. And because we want to make a nice circle bag, we want it to be neat. So the pattern pieces are ideal for that. So the other thing that I use, now wherever I put it, so in the pattern piece as well, there's a lunch uh, tab for the lunch bag. So that little tab on the top where it had the Velcro on, right? there's a little um, piece. That is the perfect piece because I want to put some tabs around my bag. So what I did was I've cut some of those out. And I needed eight, so I thought, you'll not want to see me stitching all eight. So what I did is I've cut some of those out. So if you see, that's half the size of that with the seam allowance. Yeah. And then all I've done is I just sewed down the long end and then turned it through and give it a little press. So I've got some little tabs. Nice. And then what I'm going to do is I need to position these. Now, what I'll use the other piece that I've cut out because they'll stand out more. So this is the green spot. So if there's any of this, this is beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the size on it is really good as well. So you've got the pieces are about an inch. So each little sort of flowery stem is about an inch long, that one with the little leaf. It's beautiful. I mean, I know sometimes on screen and on the website, you can't always see the richness of the colour. But this green, Joe, isn't it? It's is so rich. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit like a racing green. I <coughs> it, it is, yes. It is, it is. Right, so what I need to do is I'm going to put right sides together. Oh, jungle leaves blue. Oh, gone. Congratulations. They all gone. So I've got my two pieces um, right sides together. Now, I need to put my eight tabs on and I want them to be equal. So what I'm going to use is my reference guide. So oh, we've this, got this on the show, I believe, Bernie. I, I love it, Joe. I love it. I use it for all sorts. I mean, I use it for lining up a pliqué. I use it pr primarily. We brought this out first of all with our quilt and pattern guides. Yes, so you can indeed. Make your grids. But this, I want to do. I want eight of these all spread out around the outside. So this is great. So what I'm doing is I'm just judging it, and I'm just following one of the lines just to get it so it's pretty much centre. So although I'm putting this on a circle. I've got this pretty equal on each corner. So I'm just following one of the dashed lines. Thinking, yeah, I'm happy that that's pretty equal. And then I'm going to get my heat erasable pen and I'm going to mark it. Now, I don't need the centre point, but I'm going to mark the centre point because if for whatever reason this moves, I can quickly line it back up. And then all I want to do is the eight slots, I'm just going to mark in. And I know this one isn't going to the end, but it'll make sense shortly when I take it off. What I'm after doing. Have I got them all marked? Ooh, let me check. Have I missed one? No, I've got them all marked. Right. So if I take that off there, we can see those marks are all there. And then what I'm going to do is get all my little tabs. And I'm going to sandwich them just in between. But I'm just lining them up. Now, my seam on my little tab is in the middle. 
that line there, I can feel my seam underneath, so I know that that's dead on in the middle. And then all I'm going to do is get my quilting clips. We've got those quilting clips on the show for you. And you clip them round. of those today. And fantastic price, Bernie. I love them. Absolutely love them. So I'm putting all those in. And I've even got them on. See on my little pin cushion I've made. I've used the, um, the button factory buttons so I can clip some onto oh, them as well. Clever. How cute is that? See? I think of all sorts, me. I've got all sorts of uh, tools and everything that I use for my, uh, for my sewing. I've got one shortly I'll use, Joe. You'll be, sh you'll be shocked. At, uh, it's an actual gardening tool, but I thought it was actually great for when I'm turning through my cushion. So when I come to turn my cushion through... Can't wait. Uh, Michelle says, I've got a question for you, Bernie. When using heat fusible material, do you have to do anything different? And do you need to do anything to the fabric? Thank you. That's from Michelle. So when you're using... What was it again? Heat fusible material? Yes. Do you have to do anything different? Do you need to do anything to the fabric? I'm guessing she means before you fuse it. So if you mean, I think, do you mean like um, an interfacing? So I've got a, if it's, if it isn't, come back on the comments and let us know. But I've got a um, fusible interfacing on the back of here, just to give it a little bit of life. And all I like to do is put a, a replique sheet over the top before I iron it just so it, it doesn't catch on the iron. Um, but if it wasn't the interface you were talking about, let, let us know. Do let um, us know. Um, and also Karen says, is a spray on the pattern piece reusable or does it need to be sprayed again next time? So I've used mine t at least 10 times. And then what you can do is you just go on and spray a little bit more on and then it just reactivates it. Um, it does last, like I say, it lasts a long, long time because you don't need a lot of spray and you can you can use it on the tissue. So you know the patterns you get that are tissue paper? Yes. So you can use it on that. Um, I need to find some more clips, Joe. There we go. You need to get you need to get yourself a hundred. <laughs> I know. For twenty pounds. I need more, don't I? Um so yeah, so you can use um I've lost my train of thread uh, th train of thought now, train of thread. Oh, yeah, the pattern spray. Yeah, so you can use it and use it and use it and just keep reapplying it. And you can use it, that was what I was going to say, tissue paper. Now, I've dropped my little tab. Just bear with me a second while I pick it up off the floor. You grab your <laughs> tab. You grab a tab. Uh, Michelle Parsons is saying that she's an absolute clip convert. Uh, she loves them. And Kate says, Bernie, you're the best. So fun to watch. And I am learning loads. Oh, that? that's lovely, that. That's lovely. So, yeah, you can use it on tissue paper. So I'm just checking I've got me eight in there. So I've got eight all the way around, and I say that that reference guide has just made all of those all even. So I'm just going to sew all the way around cool. here, Joe, and I'm going to leave a gap for just, turning. Just just need to let you know, Bernie, that the jungle leaves green, which is this uh, one just here, that has gone limited stock, wow. as has the leaves light blue it could be the next two to sell out in the fabrics what i would say is you've got any of these fabrics now in your basket you consider popping any into your basket get them in and get checked out because they are definitely going to go which is fantastic when it comes to sewing these up then bernie anything special we need to think about with stitch length or stitch type or anything like that so just your i'm just using a regular uh, quarter inch with something like this you can just do side of your foot it, I think it's just because I'm so used to doing a quarter of an inch when, because I do a lot of um, patchwork. And then when you're, when you're switching machine on, if it's computerised, it'll be preset to maybe 2.4 or 2.3 or 2.5 mil stitch length. And that's your sort of your main go-to one that you're going to sew most products, uh, projects with. So Fantastic. because I'm going through two layers of cotton here, I have got that thin interfacing on the back of there. Um, if you're sewn through thicker, so if you start, if, if I put wadding in here, you would lengthen your stitch length a little bit. Because if you don't, what will happen is your machine will feel like it's eating the fabric. So if you ever feel like your machine's feeling a bit hungry and it's eating your fabric, just try lengthening your stitch length a little bit nice joke. and see if that'll, that'll go through. Uh, Molly loves the idea for the pin cushion for the clips. She's going to try that uh, the clips again. She lives in the olden days of pins, apparently. Uh, well, uh, pins have their place, and I still do pin. You do use pins sometimes, um, but when I first discovered clips, I thought, wow, that you know, the 
once you start using them, you realise how much use you're going to get out of them. And even for like round the house, clipping receipts together, I've got, so in my um, little studio, it's studio, but it's not that, it doesn't say, it's not as posh as this studio here, my little studio in the attic. So I've got a big Velux window and I have a curtain draped. I haven't managed to sort of hook it because it's on an angle. So I have a couple of clips where I just clip it to the side um, on the panel, on, there's, there's a wood panel on the side and it, they clip lovely on there. So you Fantastic. get lo <laughs> loads of different uses for loads them. Loads of uses. So I've sewn that right the way around and I'm just going to turn it through. And I mean, I say this, this well done for everyone who's got this fabric, it's gorgeous. I mean, that the colours just pop. They were so well don't together, they? Those two they colors, really don't they? do. I, I did, I picked these two and then which of the two did I pick? I picked the. The leaves, so the navy leaves or the blue leaves, and then that lilac one that you were saying it's a bit brown, could be a bit brown if you put brown mm. next to it. If you put a black next to it, it would look grey, oh, but then if you put yeah. the navy next to it, it looks blue, like a bluey lilac. So it's one of those colours that changes with whatever you put it next to. So you can see here that I've got all of these all turned through. I've got my little gap here for turning, but you can see how this is, it looks a little bit little bit wonky. So I've got myself a new tool, Joe. Look at my new tool. What's that? I mean, so I've, I've seen something similar before, I mean, but I can't think where. I found this in the supermarket. The little, you know, the one where you go down the aisle and you get your milk and then you turn the corner and there's like bedding and all sorts. And it's, there the was middle, a little... The middle, the middle zone, where the you middle get like zone, welders yeah. and body cream. And there was a lot of gardening tools and it's to plant your like your seeds and things it's got little measurements on the so side you can, here you can choose how far how deep you plant your seeds yeah that, well i thought that's brilliant as a turner and it, like a pork like pork pork your corners out and everything so what i've got i'm just going to use this now you can buy proper ones that are for sewing you could actually it looks use like some sort of tudor torture implement to me. <laughs> you could actually use it as a um you could use a spoon for this what i wouldn't do is use your scissors because what happens is if it's if you poke through with the point of your scissors, I mean, you can fix it and you can go in and sew it again, but it's much nicer. You can see there how that now is all smoothed out. Nice. And you would, give that, you would give that a press. Okay, and then what you would do is turn this through. And I'm just gonna sew this little gap up, but I would, normally I would sew all the way around the outside and that closes your gap up and that just finishes it off. So I'm gonna just sew this little bit through and then I'm gonna show you how we make it into a little drawstring bag. So it's so easy. When I was thinking of, cause I like to think of something different to do. Um, and I thought, oh, do you know, what can I make with those pattern pieces? A little circular bag. So I got my little thinking cap on and come up with this. So, let me just, I am going to press this little seam just before I press it, only because it's curved, it's going to make it easier for me to, to sew. Fantastic. So Lots of you still chatting away. Uh, someone says, oh, it's a dibber, apparently. I didn't know what that was. Uh, some of the paper crafters uh, swear by using the quilting clips to hold things whilst the glue dries as well. That's another great use for them. Uh, Jenny says, just tuning in, how many clips come in the package? You get 100 clips for £20 or $27, which give you the uh, details of them as well. So there's 10 in a pack, you get 10 packs, uh, which is fantastic. So you get 100 of those clips that you can see being used there. Uh, and Angela is saying they are essential uh, for turning up trouser hems as well. So you can see there are 100 of them for £20, which is awesome, isn't it? it is. I'm taking the opportunity just to give the rest of it a press now because I got me iron out. I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it all a nice press. But yeah, I love, I love the clips. I do. The, there's so many uses um, for them. And I say, once you start using them, you'll be thinking, but I mean, 100, that's... That's a good, good lot. I, I think I need to play. Well, that's if there's any left when the show finishes. Who the way everything's knows? gone, we're going to have uh, we're going to have nothing left. <laughs> very, very busy. Very so, busy yeah. on those fabrics as well. I'll be telling you about more sellouts shortly. Boop, uh, if boop, you've got boop. them in your baskets, check them out. I don't want you to miss out on them. Are you loving me, yeah, scissors as well here, Joe? Sorry, me loving me scissors. Oh, they're sold out. Oh, they're gone as well. Yeah, they've gone. Oh. <laughs> But, so whatever I touch my sort, sell up pattern pack, 
pattern pack spray, pa pattern pack spray, pa paper pattern spray. Can't even talk today. Right, so let's get my ironing board out the way because we nearly finished this. Right. So what I've got now, you could use ribbon. Um, I've got some cord here. So I found this nice thick, nice thick cord. So I've just put a safety pin on the end and all I'm going to do is just go through all those loops. So say just using that circle off the cushion pattern and then the, the little tab. And to be honest, if you didn't want to do the little tabs, what you could do is put little, um, well, you could even loop this. You could loop that like that. Oh, nice. And use them as your loops, couldn't you? Or a bit of ribbon. We've all got lots of ribbon uh, in our stash. My have sister was big, asking me. Have you got a big ribbon stash? Burning? I have. My sister was asking me for some ribbon yesterday. She's, have you got about a metre of purple ribbon? I said, I think I replied before she even sent the message, to be fair. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I've got loads. Loads of ribbon. Loads of ribbon and buttons and things. But you never know when you've got, you just need that certain colour. So you can see there, let me just take that safety pin out, that I've got all of that through all of there. And then what you do is you... Fabulous. Put it all up like that and you're going to tie a nice little bow. Don't look at me bow, that's not supposed to be a bow, I've just sort of knotted it. <laughs> <laughs> but then you've got a lovely little saddlebag and the best thing is Joe guess what it's reversible Fantastic. because we sewed all the way around yeah so you could put anything in there I mean if you've got if you've got a set of 100 clips I mean you'd have room for other stuff in there you've folded up fabric um sweeties toiletries makeup ideal for makeup Perfect because you can have makeup. everything and great, there yeah, and then pop it in open it out and then all Pop it all back out, yeah. Pull your cord, boom, stuff. Yeah, and you could put a little toggle on there or just keep tying it in a bow, whichever you want. But yeah, so I'm going to turn it the other way because I don't want to. Uh, and the I great like thing is one. the value here is awesome, isn't it? Because that's just one of four patterns uh, that you're getting there included. Uh, do you want to remind us what the other patterns were, Bernie? I can, it? yeah. So I'm just going to pop that there. Do you know what else will fit in there? Like a little ball, like a little soup, like a, a ball to carry it, you know, like. If you know you can get those big casserole holders as well. Mm. So the, if you put um, a little bit of, um, you could make that turn that into a, a trivet as well with a little bit of uh, insulative um, wadding in it. I'm you guessing, could Bernie. exactly, definitely for table placemats and things. So say so we use the pattern that we give you for to make this cushion, little round cushion, and then we've got that lunch bag which I think Love is that. so cute it's really cute the little handles on I mean to be honest we are giving you sort of like the is it like the blueprint if you like and then you can then tweak it as much as you want and put extra pockets on the front or you know make it longer you know the bottle bag I love this and I loved your idea about having that as a gift bag Joe because mm. that's the got bottle bag got bag and it then, could be a great, do you know what that could be great for as well? If you go out walking a lot, you know, a lot of us have those really nice insulated water bottles, especially with a strap over, but the thing is, you don't want to take a big backpack just for a water bottle. Happened to me this weekend, so I didn't take any water when out walking for ages. With that, you could actually slide your insulated water bottle in there and actually just hook it over you. How awesome. Exactly. And then the other pattern is the weekend bag, or the week bag. And the other thing I want to show you as well is this massive pocket and it's built into the bag as well. So oh. it's not a separate one sit on you actually learn how to build that in there. And it's all fully lined. Obviously you've got pockets inside. You can put, we've put one in, you can put two in if you want or leave the pocket out. And then on the other side, we've popped that little pouch in the front there Gorgeous. as well. So it's, and it's, it's huge. I mean, if I, let me just measure this. How wide is that? So it's 19 inches, well, 20 inches wide and high, 15 inches high. So you're getting a lot in there. To be fair, and I know because I've done this, the sewing machine fits in it. So it's a sewing machine bag. There That's you go. That's a good top tip, isn't it? Yeah. You think about the value that you're getting there for £16.98. Well, actually, you're not even paying that. As a platinum member, you're going to pay 13 58 or 1760, which is fantastic value. Uh, if you want to get them individually, you can. Uh, however, uh, the best way to get the best deal is to get the both of them together, uh, which is uh, absolutely awesome. Um, would be great as to give as gifts those uh, as well, I think would be awesome. Um, right, oh, uh, Lindsay says, hi, Joe and Bernie, loving the show. What is the board called that you've just ironed onto, please, Bernie? Oh, so this, so it's all it is, 
is, I'm not sure who made it in here for us, but it's just a piece of wood with some wadding underneath and then some um, just grey cotton on the top and then it's just been stapled. It's been awesome. stapled on the back, great so idea. it's great. And it's not, because when you're stitching, you don't want to, you know, sometimes your ironing board can be quite soft, jaw when you're ironing on it. When you're sewing, you want something that's quite, quite sort of firm, but not too, so you're not ironing straight onto wood. So just having that little bit of wadding underneath just gives it that for you when you're pressing your seam, so you get a lovely pressed seam. Awesome. Gilmore would like to know how much fabric do you think that you'd need for that weekend bag? Oh, now. I'm not sure if it actually says on the pattern. I will double check and come back to you on that. Oh, Fantastic. I got, okay. I've got it over there. Uh, I'll double check how much you'll need. Marisol says uh, she's loving everything uh, she has just showed. Uh, just fantastic. Uh, Robin saying, great idea for a water bottle. Uh, and what a fantastic overnight bag. Uh, that is terrific. Says Katie. Right, should we go back through these fabrics and see what we've got left, Johnny? Because, I mean, it is slim pickings at the moment. So let's start. The Jungle Leaves in the Green, which is this one just here. Limited stock, less than 10% of the stock remains in your basket. You need to check it out. Uh, you've got that one there. So then we've also got this one just here, which is our flower spots, uh, as you can see here. Uh, very, very busy on there. 80% of that one has sold out. The next one we've got is this one just here, which is your uh, leaves. It's your sage, leaves sage uh, is what this one is. Uh, very busy there as well. Remember all of these, £3.49, or uh, of course, if you are a Club Inspired Platinum member, you're going to get them to a two seventy nine or three dollars ninety nine. Uh, busy on that one. Be quick for that one. Uh, the next one we've got is the mustard, uh, the triangles mustard. Love this. Got a bit of a seventy seventies vi vibe to it. Eighty percent of that one has sold out and gone. We have got then the jungle leaves salmon, which is this one. Just sounds like a restaurant, a, a dish you get on a menu at a Thai restaurant, doesn't it? Salmon in a jungle leaf. Uh, how much of this one's gone, Johnny? 70%, 70 percent, seven zero of that one gone. We've then got the triangles in the salmon as well. Again, I just love how uh, it's sort of uh, positive and negative print on this. Uh, it is the it's the dust. It's the um, Dusky pink is what we're calling it, uh, with the triangles on there as well. Really, really awesome. Uh, again, all of these are the same price. Remember with these as well, if you are buying multiple pools, we'll do our best to cut them by the metre for you as well, which is fantastic. Uh, do grab that one. We've got the leaves blue. Was this the one, Johnny, that was limited stock? 98% of the stock of that one has gone. Uh, the next seven people that check out will be able to secure that, so do be quick for it. Uh, and then we also had the lilac one as well, the Jungle Leaves Lilac, uh, which is this one just here. And again, you can see 80% of that one has sold out and gone. So lots of sellouts coming on those fabrics. So do be quick for them if you want to get your hands on them. Now, something else that you might want to go for, our zips on a roll. I'm going to say it, they're iconic, they really are. Uh, but these are the concealed zips on a roll. And I do have all of the available individual colours of the regular zips on a roll on the website if you'd like those. They're actually in this show. So crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Click that sh shop the show button and then uh, you'll be able to see all the colours we have. But these are the concealed ones that are very, very busy uh, at the moment. I'll show you them from the side so you can see the colours that you've got here. So the same as kind of, I see them like concealed zips. Like You know you get a really fancy dress where you can't see that zip on the back. This is exactly what you've got. Now you've got different options on here. So this is the white details on your screen here at the moment. You've also got the brown available and you've got the blue there as well, the denim blue. So lots of options there uh, for you. Uh, and as I said, I think there's about, is there nearly 20 zips on a roll in this show in a whole host of different colours. Do go check the website for those. I'll no doubt show you them in a little bit more detail as we go through the show. Now, Quilters Guild is what we're going to be looking at next. And it's, some, it's actually a, a dye collection that we've put together in association with the Quilters Guild, which we are very, very privileged to be able to do. And what we're going, they're going to do for you, these dyes are, you know, allow you to get super awesome uh, results from your quilting. I think this is absolutely beautiful. This is my favourite, uh, this one. Uh, this one is the... 
That's the geometric bloom, that's the that geometric, one. Geometric, uh, this one just here. Uh, remember, you're going to get all of them. I'll just change those details for you. Uh, so there you are. So you're going to get £69 or $83. Gets you all of these. Or £55.20 or £66.40. So you've got the Geo, which is that one there. You've then also got this one just here. Now, this one is the Coxcomb applique, as you can see. Really, really gorgeous, traditional uh, patterns, these. And then you've also got the kaleidoscope which is this one here which that is a beautiful uh beautiful bag that's been created using that love the size of these yes they're going to make great quilting blocks if you want to do that with them are uh, but they're also a great size to enable you to work on a load of other smaller projects if you're building up to them as well and because they're dies bernie i'm right in thinking uh that you know, we wouldn't even maybe need to sew with these if you wanted to use adhesive instead of sew these pieces on. I guess what I'm thinking I'm saying is, you know, think some people think because they don't sew, they can't do any kind of soft crafting whatsoever. But it's not the case, is it? No, definitely not. And also, if you're going to be doing <coughs> gluing them down, which is a form of applique, you could use our um, stick and stay which is a great spray to put on the back of your pieces to applique them down. If I show you this one here, this is also the geometric bloom. So that quilt that you held up was very modern looking, the blues and greens and red one, whereas this is the design that you'll see on the packaging. And then these circles here have been appliqued down. So we've sprayed them with our stick and stay ironed them and then stitched all the way around and then that's how you can glue it down but also you can use our cloud textile glue as well or the sticks two pen if you've got one of those as a temporary one but this is a permanent one as well the stick and stay so i'm going to actually um demo the kaleidoscope one today so we have that beautiful bag that angela made um from the team but also it just shows you how different, I mean, we've got here, we've got a, a little zip pouch, little pencil case in it, or to make the full quilt. I'm going to hold this up because it's absolutely gorgeous. And a lot it, of love for the geometric quilt in particular, actually, uh, in this show. That one there's a kaleidoscope, loving that. This is a kaleidoscope, yeah. And it just shows you how if you use different colours, you're going to have a different effect. So using, I mean, I'm using our new fabrics today. I'm going to move it down now. I'll appear behind. There I am. <laughs> So, so I'll say at the dog when I go in the living room, I'll go, where is she at today? <laughs> I do treat her like a bairn, honestly. Just <laughs> I think lockdown's getting, getting to us. Oh, it might be the heat. It is quite warm in here today, Joe, isn't it? It's We've always it's like Barbados. It's, I feel like I'm on holiday. You know, I inter know. International travel may be off the agenda at the moment, but not here at Crafters TV. <laughs> the sun's always shining. Now, just um, I found the um, weekend bag, how much fabric you need for it. So in the front here, it actually gives you the instructions of what you will need. So you need a metre of outer fabric, a metre of lining fabric, a metre of interfacing and a metre of wadding and then your zips, etc. So a metre of your fabrics, really, and obviously whatever interfacing you're going to put on. You don't have to put an interfacing on. If you're going to make it into a sewing machine bag, I would definitely put... Um, the, the wadding in and interface because okay. you want it quite strong so yeah so for the uh, the lady who was wanting to know how much i found that out i thought it was in the pattern um but i thought i'll just i wanted to double check so oh, the kaleidoscope so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how, basically how you put the block together but in the instructions actually you're getting the pat again we're getting patterns in here so this was the great thing about the quilters guild i mean we do we are really honored um to be working with them and what they've done is they've sort of let us go i'm, I'm not sure who actually went for it wasn't me unfortunately went to the museum a long time ago i think it's in york i think it might be in york the museum okay um to see where you know to get the inspiration and then what what the um, team had did is certain ones that they like the look of to say well actually we could um put our own take on that and bring the set of dies out and this one is the wheels quilt and it was made somewhere between 1880 and 1900 that's obviously when they've estimated um when that was made and that is actually in the museum that quilt i would love to go one day when we when we allowed when we allowed to go so we've used inspiration from that but in the booklet and it, it's laid out quite similar to builder block so if anyone's got any of our builder block um booklets you'll see that it's 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 quite a similar layout so we try and keep things sort of in the same way so when you're looking it's like when you're using you know if you go from like windows to mac or mac to windows you get it's all different isn't it 
So when, you, when you're looking at our sort of instructions, you know they're going to be in the same layout, so it's easy to follow. So it's, we're going to give you lots of tips on how to cut them out. And then we're giving you the full instructions of how to do one 12 and a half inch block, how to make up the full quilt, how to make that clutch bag, how to make little coasters on this one. And then in each one, there's three patterns. So in the geometric bloom, you've got the cushion, the table runner and the quilt. And then in the coxcomb, which is all applique, you've got a bag, you've got a quilt, and you've also got a, a placemat and a little um, little pouch for your knife and fork so you cut Livy, which I thought was quite cute. So we've given you those three patterns in there as well. So. If you're new to our um, multimedia dies, they normally come, we always have them now. In the, when we first started doing them, they were silver. And what happened was people were maybe getting them mixed up with their paper crafting dies, which are thinner. So we changed the colour of them. So they're this lovely, like, rose gold, I like to call it rose gold colour. So you can differentiate that they are going to cut through multiple layers of fabric. So I've got my plates here, and I'm going to start layering this up. Oh, actually, first thing, I need to cut some white fabric. So I've got... I've been, so, I, you know, we, we get so much for demo with, and I'm think, I've made, like, loads of stuff with my demos and I've got this last strip left here of these colours. I've got a little bit left but I need that for another demo. But I think these might have both sold out. The, the blue leaf, of that, has that one gone now? Is that one still in? That's very, very limited. limited. The navy though is gone, isn't it? The, is navy, the navy jungle gone? leaf is gone. And the then lilac we've got the... jungle leaf is the, just there. I love that one. Absolutely. That's the lilac jungle leaf. It's that one gorgeous. There. Absolutely gorgeous. That's limited stock as well Ooh. now. Ooh, I mean, are right. there any? I mean, there's only I'll a couple of them I think that aren't limited stock at the moment. <laughs> no, so not I'm going to keep there. saying it until they. Uh, so the salmon, uh, the salmon leaves, uh, the mustard triangles, and the leaves sage. They're all 70%. The they? rest are limited stock. So if you've got any of the others in your basket, you need to check them out. I know I sound like a broken record. I just don't want you to miss out. And then you know, send me a strongly worded email about it. <laughs> Tbh. I know. Then I can't take, I won't take the blame then because it was me yesterday. <laughs> right, so I want to cut some of my white fabric to cut some of the pieces out. And what I've got here is our 12 and a half inch folding ruler. Now there's a great set on the show today where we've got the mat, we've got the ruler, and we have the, is it pens in there? And the scissors, is this? Oh, is that all sold out? Was oh, I'm getting the whole set sold out in me here. Oh, my goodness me. I was thinking it was the scissors on their own that had sold out. Thought, well done, because this is a great set to be working with. So I'm just going to cut a strip of fabric. There we go. Just to cut some pieces. Right, so... And the good thing about this is because it folds down, it's, if you haven't got a lot of room in your work area, or also as well storage and um, putting everything in a bag, oh, you could have your sewing machine in that weekend bag. You've already, if you've ordered your mat, the ruler, the ruler's going to fit in, the mat won't, although you could make it longer. So you're going to get all of your sewing kit in there. I'll, I might put it in by the end of the show. I'll put the machine in, Joe, to show everyone. Awesome. That it fits in. Right, so I'm just going to layer this up just so you can see how well they've cut. So I've got six layers of fabric here. So we recommend cutting six layers. You can try more. What will happen is the machine will tell you if it's not going to work. And oh. it'll just pause and spit it back at you and say, no, nope, you've put too many layers in. So say you've put 12 layers in, then... No, it's not going awesome. to quite work. Uh, Michelle Parsons has come back. She says, Bernie, yes, I was talking about the fusible interfacing for pot holders and such and was wondering if you have to do anything different uh, with the fabric uh, when you do that. Anything with it or if you have to treat the fabric you use as well. Does that make more sense? Yeah, so with that, what I would say is you wouldn't need... The only thing that I would do if I was stitching pot um, for pot holders to put a lot of layers together is I would um, lengthen my stitch because you're going through a lot of layers. So you wouldn't need to do anything for the fabric because the insulating, the insulating wadding that you're putting in there, that's what's going to absorb the heat. So your fabric's going to be fine. I would use as well, um, if you've got a walking foot, use a walking foot. If you haven't, and you're using your normal foot, just go 
carefully just go slow not carefully but a bit slower slow your machine don't go full pelt so when i come to use the machine today i was thinking this isn't full going very pelt. fast that's a technical term is it it's my, yeah well i usually say you can canny but you then not everyone canny. can understand that that means going good <laughs> if my friend if my friend val's watching she'll be laughing she'll, she'll have me on the big telly because she puts me on the big telly in the oh. living room um, so the dog can watch because the dog's Molly who's our Pippa's friend um, <laughs> so yeah so Molly likes to watch me so hi Molly hi Molly if you watch it <laughs> but yeah so if you just a, a steady speed on your machine and a longer stitch I would definitely say but if you haven't got a walking foot I know we've got a set of feet on the website that has a walking foot in there have a look on the website because that's absolutely perfect for um, going through thicker layers Awesome. So I've cut some pieces out here. I mean, you can see there that that has cut absolutely no problem through six layers. And to be honest, I probably could have cut through more. Um, but the, I'm doing what we advise you to do. And then, like I say, you can always trial it. If your fabric's a bit thinner, you're going to go through more layers with our multimedia dies. If you're using cork or faux leather, you, you will have less layers. And if you cut and felt, you'll hear a lovely crunching noise, and that's the fibres cutting through, so you know that it's actually working. All right, so I'm going to get my pieces. So I've cut some ready for this one block, because I've, I'll show you my block that I've started. Awesome. Just so you can see, and I'm going to show oh, you how easy so cool this is. With this colour combo. Isn't it gorgeous? So what I did was, in my... So from... Um, Rose and Hubble White, which this morning there was still some on the website. Um, so I've got the Rose and Hubble White and then the peach, which I think may have sold out. But I've put the peach with it, but you know what, Joe? I think a pale pink would go with it as well. Beautiful, um, yeah. So you can see there that I've got three. Um, because see, I we, think I'd quite like that just, just um, done as just an abstract, you know. Even, not, even with it not all facing inwards, you know, if you just put them together in any old fashion, and it was just quite abstract. Yes, just, just I throw think I them love down. That. Well, yeah, because, I mean, and also as well, I'm still trying to make a design. I'm still looking here thinking, oh, well, hang on, if I turn them all around the other way, I'm going to get like a windmill effect with that centrepiece there. So you can just put them down. Or what I like to do is make one of this, which is a six and a half inch block, then cut a six and a half inch square of plane and put that in and mix it all together as well. So if you have got like nice fancy fabrics like these and you've been sparing with them, you don't want to use them all at once. What you can do is build them up with your solid colors. And that's why I love the Rose and Hubble. I absolutely love that. Fabulous. But yeah, if the white's still in stock, I would yeah, definitely- Yeah, the white is in yeah. stock over on the website. So do go check that one out. Now, top tip, and I, I say this every time, I probably get sick of saying it myself is always lie your pattern pieces down because you can guarantee that you'll look away or if you're watching something on the telly or the phone rings or something you'll pick up and sew the wrong colors together and then you've got to get your own picker out so i've laid my pieces out there and it will always look bigger than the finished block because we've got seams in here now in the instructions it does tell you how to put them together and then what you're going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to start from this end and I'm going to line that up on there. Now, can you see that that actually fits perfectly? The dog ears, which it would, if this was a full triangle, there would be little triangles sticking out of the end okay. there. That's what's called dog ears. And so you can see actually on here where we've done the finished one, because you will get them. So that's what's called a dog ear. You'll always get them at some point in your block when you're making them. But what you don't want them is all the way through your block. So we've thought about that when we've made the dies, we cut them little bits off the die, so it cuts it off your fabric. So all I'm going to do here is I've got my machine set at quarter of an inch and I've got a uh, two mil stitch length. So when I'm doing patchwork, I always make that stitch shorter and what that means is is that when you're when you if you pull like that you can't see your threads if you've got um, a longer stitch you can see when you're ironing you can maybe see the gaps so you want it quite um quite close together so i'm going to sew this one up here and say just a quarter of an inch or oh, slow the machine down and back up there we go and then what i like to do is pop it back down on the block and i think right well i know now i need to add that piece on but i'm going to do this one because then that's the same 
And I like to do that. If I've got some pieces that are all the same that are joining, I'll do all them because you get into sort of a, 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 a routine with it. Awesome. Uh, Michelle likes how you uh, show us how they can be, the blocks will be composed into different uh, shapes and patterns, which is good. I think you can really play around with them, can't you? All of these uh, designs that's in here. Remember, you are getting three different designs in here for that awesome price. Uh, you're going to get the kaleidoscope wheel, which is the one that, uh, Bert, that is the one you're working on at the moment. It is, it, yeah. yeah. You're also going to get the geometric bloom and the coxcomb applique uh, as well. £55.20 or $66.40. Uh, if you're getting them as a Club Inspire Platinum member, uh, don't forget. Uh, now, uh, this is uh, really, um, lots of you really enjoying the show. Don't forget, there's still loads more to come today as well on Crafters TV. Uh, we're going to be, uh, we're going to, I'm going to be back with Sarah at 4pm UK time, which is 11am East Coast time, uh, for the launch party. And we are launching a brand new... Uh, craft kit so make sure you join us both for that and we'll also have back on those awesome creative card dies which have sold out pretty much everywhere else uh, we have still got some stock for you uh, our lovely crafters tv viewers so make sure you join us for that oh george you know what i'm going to do this weekend Ooh. so um i've got me decoupage box that i'm going to start with me um to do some paper crafting so I've, I've got a little bit of free time this weekend. I know me free time. That's unusual. Um, and I'm actually going to do me some of my decoupage um, box. Awesome. So, so yeah, some so, paper crafting. So yeah, a bit of paper craft for me. I know. Check you I know. Out. So another top tip. You now everyone, I like my top tips. So I'm just going to get my ironing board back up. Now, when you're using a, a light coloured fabric, what you want to try and avoid where you can is having the seam underneath. So we can see, I don't know how well you'll be able to see on the camera there, but there's like a little bit of a shadow where that seam is. Look at that brilliant zooming off Charlotte. You can just see that little bit of shadow it's the queen there. Of zoom off Charlotte, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the seam to the other side and the shadow's gone. You can't see it. So whenever you're using a, um, a light coloured fabric, try and fold it away if you can and what will happen is it'll it'll make your piece just just even more pleasing when you look at it and then with this one because i'm going to join these two together so if i look on this one i've pressed the seams outwards so on this one i'm going to press the seams uh, no inwards oh so i've pressed that the wrong way after all that have i done that right what you like oh yeah they've gone out they need to go in that's right. If I turn it that way, I can see it. So these ones I need to press in. So I'll just press those in. And then what will happen is when I piece these two together, they're going to nest lovely. And that's where your seams um, butt up against each other. Uh, because Mitch wants to know, are you always starting on the narrow end with the kaleidoscope? So you can start on either end. It, it doesn't matter. Um, because what you're essentially doing is making it into... Um, two triangles and then you'll recognize that as now that's two half square triangles when you start looking at the shapes that are in patchwork I know I've got lots of cotton ends forgive my cotton ends and then what I'll do now is I'm going to put them right sides together so I'm now going to make the square and we can see now how you can see all oh, lovely there you can see how they nest together Beautifully. now the one thing I would say is when you're sewing this together you can pin it but as you know, I'm not a fan of pins unless I really have to use it. What I'm doing is I'm holding that first nest. So I'm keeping hold of that with my finger and thumb. And then I'm lining up the other point with my fingers. So I'm going to start at this end on the machine. And again, I've just got that quarter inch seam. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping my finger pressed on that nest. I can feel that that's still nesting. When I get to it, I'm going to, if you've got the needle down facility on your machine, use that. When I get to it, I'm leaving the needle down and then I'm lining up the next one. And again, I'm keeping my finger on that one as I'm stitching. And what that's going to do is help match those points up. Again, I've got to there, I've left the needle down. I'm then lining up my end one. Just keep my finger on that. And then... I'm going to press that and open that up. Oh, look at them. Lovely. 
gorgeous lovely, lovely points so just by holding like i say i didn't put any pins in i just held them and you just see how you can get those points matching and then all i'm going to do now is put them four together to make the block and then that's the block done awesome tammy is right and corrected me she says uh, that's our charlotte queen of the close-ups that's what she's called queen of the close-ups i tell you what i'm i'm impressed i'm Absolutely. impressed i am uh, we need to get her a crown. We said this last week, didn't we? Still no... I thought Liam was going to make you a crown, Charlotte, but no. <laughs> she doesn't sound like Charlotte's that happy about it, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I will be... Well, Leanne will be here with us on Friday, so uh, maybe you can uh, whinge to her then. Uh, lots of you still chatting away. Remember, any questions you've got as we go through this show, as always, please get them over to me. Get in touch. Crafters TV, if you are across on Facebook. Crafters Companion, if you're over on YouTube. Uh, and one of our social media superstars will fire them over to me. Uh, we've got Rachel, the lovely Rachel, in the hot seat today, taking care of all things social media. If you've got any pictures you'd like to send in of any of your stitching projects, whether it's with products in this show, fabrics in this show, or it could be absolutely anything that you have stitched or knitted or crocheted or embroidered then i would absolutely love to see uh, the pictures uh, some pictures of your mates and you can send them to me very easily by emailing them over to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk uh, details are just down over there uh, so do pop them in so i've got that half done there i love seeing pictures i would love it if people send pictures in I, lo I lose so much time looking online at what everyone makes because I think it's just it's just great to see. I mean, especially now, people there's a lot more people coming into crafting now, isn't there, Joe, with everything that's going on in the world. But to, when people share the pictures online and then, you know, you get to share them with other people and like-minded people as well which is why i love going in our sewing group so you see i turned that round there the reason i turned it round is because when i first did it my seam was going to show on that white okay so i just whipped it round and honestly don't worry if you forget to do that but you'll get once you start doing it you'll start thinking about it more than more and think oh actually yeah that does make a difference now and i mean sometimes you can't because it depends what colors you you're doing so I need it to go this way. So I'm just going to give that a press. And I'm going to use this block in my later demos as well, Joe. So I'm actually going to make it into something. Because oh. I know it's, it's, it's nice to make the blocks, but it's also nice to make it into something. And I know we don't always have loads of time um, to make it. So there's my block there that I'm going to sew those together. But like you were saying, if I turned it the other way, Fabulous. I love that. You're getting a totally different pattern. So I'm going to do it that way, Joe. Wonderful. I'm going to be different because I only need the square for later. So there you go. Uh, Katie Henderson is saying beautiful uh, square Bernie. So she's looking forward to that. I have got good news and bad news for everyone at home, Bernie. Oh, good news. Well, bad news for good news is if you enjoy the shows that I present at Hitcraft TV, you've got five whole days with me. That is also the bad Yay. news. Well, if you don't like the shows I present here, then you've got five days of me. So it's all about perspective, <laughs> Bernie. Um, lots of things coming up today. Remember, we've got that launch party and then Craft Vault. Looking ahead tomorrow, uh, Craft Vault, Debbie, the lovely Debbie Fisher, is back with us tomorrow. Uh, we've got new Hunky Dory for you as well. Myself and Craig tomorrow with the launch day. Creative Cravings, of course, uh, coming up for you as it always is on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, uh, we've got uh, some fanta fantastic Craft Vault for you. I'll be back with Craig uh, for that. And then I've got uh, also um, a wonderful foil press masterclass uh, with Debbie Fisher. That's going to be fantastic. Ooh. Cartload, myself and Sarah. It's a big one this week. It's a three-hour uh, Sarah special cartload. Uh, and then more on Friday. A fantastic uh, craft along with the pop-out numbers, which I know loads of you are looking forward to on Friday as well. So there's loads and loads um, to come. I need to let you know that the Jungle Leaves Green has sold out. Uh, congratulations. If you got it, it has now gone. Um, Punam was saying, how much of those lovely fabrics would I need to make a quilt or a table runner, uh, Bernie, do you think? Oh, well, a table runner, you're going to use quite, quite a lot less. With a table runner, you're probably... Say, you'd need about a half a metre to back it. And if you were binding it as well, maybe a quarter of a metre. So that's a half, three quarters. And then for the top, it depends what design you want to do. So say you had four colours. Um, 
Mm, I would think if you've got a metre of one colour and use half of that for the back and then another three or four half metres of the different ones so you can make a nice patchwork one for the top uh, and you'll have loads left as well from a table runner and then you, you're just going to sort of double that up for a quilt it's surprising how much fabric you need for a quilt um, it's the backing because you might see a pattern and it might say you need five to six yards or metres for the backing because what will often happen is they'll try and get it all into one piece but how about patchwork on the back as well in blocks and using up your pieces up so yeah so i would maybe do a meter and a few half meters for a table runner and then say it depends how big your quilt is you might want two to three meters for the back and then another maybe four four to six half meters for the top and your binding awesome i hope that answers your question what is the difference between a half yard and a half meter so a half yard is 36 inches a meter is about 39 inches so we sell meterage in the UK, obviously in the US and other parts of the world it's sold by the yard. So if you buy, if you're in the US and you're buying a meter from us, you get actually getting a three inch strip of the width, which is about 43, 44 inches wide, more than what you would get if you were buying by the yard somewhere. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that. I had no idea about that. Uh, Mitch says that uh, Mitch, Molly and Sarah all think that it's a good thing that I'm back for five days. So uh, I feel, I feel in the love. Uh, I wasn't looking for compliments, but I will always, I wasn't fishing for them, but they're always welcome. I always love them. I say I lap them up. Um, if you've got any more questions, please get them into uh, us and I'll get them popped over to Bernie uh, for you as well. Now, we've talked a lot about it in this show, uh, but remember all the fantastic details of Club Inspire. It means great, great discounts. If you're new to us, here's Sarah to take you through the details. our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. All the details there of the fabulous Club Inspire. Make sure you join. It's totally free to join. If you want to join, just get yourself over to the home screen, clip Club Inspire, and you're going to be good to go, which is awesome. Now, we're going to move on, uh, and we're going to look at something. I absolutely uh, love these. Awesome deal for you on this as well. You're saving way more than you are spending here. This is a, these, are, these two next deals I'm about to show you are the weekly sewing offers that we bring to you over on our website. So always check back at the start of every week to see what the weekly one is. What you're going to get in here is four of these awesome panel dies. Now these cut into your fabric rather than cutting out. And because they are our multimedia dies, it means that they are awesome for allowing you to cut things that are heavy duty, like leather or faux leather or cork fabrics as well. You've got a decorative flower panel in here. You've also got the mosaic, that one there, this is the retro love that one and you've also got there the daisy as well 13 pounds 50 or 19 dollars uh, if you want to go for either of those which really is uh, a fantastic price it's a 17 percent saving there on those so do grab them 
We also have the quilting border guides uh, available for you as well, which are these ones just here. Now these are again an awesome deal. 27.75 or 39.35 is what you'll save compared to buying them individually as a platinum member. The great thing about them is that they are so, so multi-purpose as well. So you've got the one sort of pattern, if you will, but it makes lots of different styles, uh, which is absolutely awesome. So you've got that one just there. That one is your, oh, what one is that? That is your decorative petal. You've also got a geometric wave. You've got the heart, <gasps> love that. And you've also got the jewel, which is just gorgeous. 54 pounds or $78. That's not all though. You do, if you've always fancied yourself as a French mime, these are perfect. Uh, you get the quilting gloves in here as well. Uh, and these are really awesome to help you uh, move your project around. Uh, something else you might want to go for is the quilting path reference guide that's in the show as well. Click the shop the show button and you'll find that uh, over on the website too. That's going to help you to align these up perfectly to make sure you're getting uh, really, really even results every single time that you use them. Uh, Kate says, it's great to know about the fabric between yards and meters, the difference, so thank you for that. Molly says, nice quilting Bernie. Seems so tidy. The beautiful finish, uh, finishing really makes the quilts. It does indeed, doesn't it? And what we bring you, of course, great uh, quality products, gonna allow you to get that same awesome finish every single time at home as well. Uh, the quilting pattern guides then, but I mean, you look at them, I think for anyone that maybe knew, you look at that and think, how on earth am I going to turn that into that? It's amazing, isn't it? What you need is a little bit of kit to set your machine up. So you need the um, foot, the ruler foot. So we've got the low and high shank ones on the shore today. And um, most domestic machines will be a low shank. The way you can tell normally without, if it doesn't tell you in your manual, is take your whole foot off. So you've just got where you can see what the black part was on the machine. Or you might not be able to see it. This is the shank here that the needle, uh, the foot fits onto. Put your presser foot down so you can see how I've lowered it. And then where that screw is, measure from there to the base. If it's about half an inch, it's a low shank machine. Okay. If it's any higher, it could be a high shank. But some machines have specialist feet only, like Benina, um, Faf could be different types. So it, it's worth checking with your manufacturer as well. But ours is a pretty universal, um, a pretty universal feet. They fit a lot of the machines. They fit all of mine at home by one. One of my machines is a Juki and it's a semi-industrial one. So that has its own special foot. Um, but it fits all my other machines absolutely perfect. But the pattern, what you're going to do is you're going to guide guide your fabric uh, your foot around oh if i can get this out can't even get it out lost my strength if i find let me just find the pattern there we go there we go that's better so what you're going to do is if i pop that on there we can see how this design has been taken effect you pop your foot in here and when you stitch around you're basically just hugging the side of the um guide with your foot and this stitch is a quarter of an inch away so it goes all the way around and you get all the way around to here and you stop and then what you do is you just move your template along you've left your needle in you guide your template move it along and then you can continue so you're getting a continuous design and then with this one here what's happened with this one is we've done that but then we've moved it around so you've gone in like a spiral effect so in effect we're calling them border dies because they fit lovely in a border if you're going to put a border on a quilt and you've got a, a gap there it'll fit lovely in there but you can also do rotational designs as well we've got so many of these while well, Trisha made for us with all of the samples on and all of the different designs and it's just you see you can get flower shapes I mean that one's a brilliant one to go on a border but then you can offset them so you're getting a wider design as well and then back to like a petal shape then we've got the rotation there's it in a strip again so you can go on forever and ever and ever and i mean this is just a drop in the ocean the heart one i love i mean i know we've just had valentine's day so if anyone's already got these as well if you've made them onto um something for your loved one and then quilted it with that would be absolutely fabulous and then just using half of the heart design you're getting a spiral so there's lots and lots of options um, that you can make with them. But we've got a few things on the show that will help you make it better because it is quite scary when you first start. And the one thing I would say is, is loads and loads of practice. Now, I'm going to show you this. This is one of my little practice pieces. Whenever I come to start doing free motion of any sort, 
I just have a little sandwich. Oh, it looks like a Picasso. Yeah, well, there you go. I should sign it, shouldn't I? It certainly, <laughs> sounds, it certainly sounds like a real Picasso, but I'd have to see it to be sure. <laughs> It's, it's a Bernie. It's that's a Bernie. A, that's a, a, that's Bernie. a Acorn Antique. Um, <laughs> oh, I love Acorn. One out there that was thinking, I what used on to earth is he on? I can't do it today, but I used to do a, a brilliant impression of Mrs. Overall from Acorn Antique. So if anyone, anyone's not watching, it was a... Um, like a comedy, like a sketch show. Yeah, with Victoria show. Wood, wasn't it? With Victoria Wood in the UK and Julie Walters and Duncan, I can't remember his surname, but very, it, very it's funny. really funny. I'm sure you probably will get it online somewhere. Um, but yeah, so I always have a test piece. So when you set your machine up, you're going to lower your feed dogs on your machine, which are these little things here. If you don't have that facility, just set your stitch length to zero. So you're going to lower that. You're going to pop your foot on. If you've got an extension table on, great, use the extension table. I'll be honest, at home, my extension table is always on. doesn't matter what project I'm doing. And then what you're going to do is you don't actually need to change your tensions on your machine. It's normally the height of the foot. So if I show you, I don't know how close, oh, you'd be able to see this here, perfect. If I move that up there. And we see here that I had some very long stitches there. And that's just when I was setting the machine up, I had long stitches and I thought, oh, what, what's happened? A lot of people will go straight for the tension dial on the machine, but it isn't. It's the height of the foot. So all I did was load my foot a little bit more. So I just took my screwdriver, unscrewed it a little bit here, load that foot a little bit more, and then it started stitching perfectly. And that was my next test piece there. So you're getting that nice stitch. Fantastic. Yeah. So it's always worth... I know people automatically will go straight to tension, but tension's normally the, one of the last things that will change on your machine. The other thing as well, Joe, I'm saying I'm hot. I've got this iron right under me here as well. So that, <laughs> that's Ooh, probably not help. help. I've got the heating on. <laughs> the other thing what we've got on the show is our... Um, free motion slider sheet. Now, what this is, you peel when you get it. You've got a, there's a clear peel uh, that you peel off on the back. And what this is is it's it's a bit like the paper pattern spray. It doesn't feel sticky, but there's something there. And what it does, it actually adheres huh. to your the base of your machine. Fabulous. But what you're going to do is pop it. Under and where you've got the where I've, yours doesn't come with a hole in. So what you do is once you've got yours, put it on your machine where you want it to be, and then just dip your needle, turn your needle down so it just makes a little mark on it, and then take it out and then just um, cut that little rectangle out of there. And that's just so we've got the needle. So I just need to get in there and get my thread out if I can. Hmm, what have I got? I'm looking for my unpicker, but I haven't got it. I'll use my screwdriver. So I just need, what you need to make sure is obviously my thread is now under the mat where I want it on the top of it. Oh, okay. How long the thread have I got here? Yeah. There we go. So you need to make sure your thread's on the top. There we go. And that's, that's lovely to sit down. Now, if it loses its sticky, because after you're taking it on and taking it off a lot, if you use um, just warm um, soapy water, that'll, that'll sort of reinvigorate it. So there we go. And then the other thing is the quilting gloves. So you're going to have, what these have is, these have little rubber, rubberized tips on the end. Now, there's one thing when we come to do with Joe, I've got a little saying. Grippy on the top, slippy on the bottom. So what you're thinking about is, when you've got your piece of work under here, you want it to be nice slidey on the bottom it to go around but you want to keep everything together on the top so as I'm moving that my fingers aren't moving on the fabric they're moving with the fabric awesome. because you've got that grip on there the other thing as well is on the border guides and on all our quilting pattern guides it's got like a frostiness to it <laughs> no no offense taken there it's, it's not unhappy it's <laughs> it's got an anti-slip technology on so actually if I pop that on there you can see that that's also moving the fabric perfect so it's got that extra so you want to grippy. keep all your layers with minimal amount of movement, is that what I'm thinking? Yes. So all your layers together. So grippy on the top, slippy on the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is just quickly get... So I've got the block, when I find my block that I made. So here's my block that I made. That we've got there. And then I want to put a little bit of wadding behind. 
Now, if you're making a quilt sandwich, you'll have your wadding and fabric on the back of there. But I don't want a backing on here because what I'm going to do is make a, a little pouch if we've got time. I hope we've got time to make it. I'm sure we have. So the other thing as well is you're going to use your um, stick and spray. Now, this isn't on the show today, but I know that it's on the website and I couldn't believe it when it was back in stock. So this is our temporary adhesive. Um, I'd, had I realised it was back in stock, I'd have said, please, can we have that on the show? Um, and I know the sprays are on three for £20. So you could get one of these, you could get a paper pattern spray and the, uh, the orange can, the spray and stay, um, for your three for twenty pounds, so that's a good uh, fabulous deal. That it's a really good deal because uh, I mean this. Everyone knows this is my favourite product. Although I can't give no secrets away, Joe, but it's soon to be bumped off the top of my favourite product list because I've Why? got a launch coming at the end of this month. What is it? Can't tell you. Oh well, you can't. I can't. Just hanging like that. I can't. Um, I've I'll be got on great gossip as well, but I can't. <laughs> <say> either. <laughs> so really, I'll be on Create really... Craft on the twenty eighth of February. Yeah. So you'll have to you'll have to watch. Well, that's not far. It's only four days it's away. Not, it's not. I know. You week can't tell Sunday. us now. It's, it's a week on Sunday. Away. Not allowed. Oh, not allowed. I I could. Oh, is it? Sorry. Did you say the twentieth of February? Twenty eighth. Ah. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay. 28th. I get why you couldn't sew. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah Twenty eighth. Fourteen day schedule on Creighton Craft. <laughs> but okay. yeah. So that is going to get knocked off my top spot i'm so excited honestly Ooh. i'm like i'm like, I'm yeah, like i mean i don't even know what Christmas. this is either so i mean i'm gonna have to have we're gonna have to have words after the show <laughs> you watch this space right so what i'm going to do i've got the dual one here and if i if i just pop the machine slightly out the way so you can see there's a little bit better what i'm going to do and i'm thinking so i want to quilt this it's already quite patterned what i could have done was just some free um free motion light and just follow my seams but I think no I want to have a nice pattern so on here what you've got is you can see if I bring the packaging you'll see it better there's you can see that it's got like a crosshair grid line on here and what that's going to do is help you line it up on your project so if you're using a blank piece of fabric you can use your um, reference guide with this one I can actually use seams if I want and what I'm going to do is think right well I want to line that up so that all of my piece here is gone. So I've got, this is my, so that's my original six and a half inch square that I had. And what I've done is the side seam there, I've lined up that end. And on this side here, I've lined up that end. Okay. So then I'm going to take that to the machine. Obviously, you, you line it back up when you put it under the machine. Oh, there we go. I need a bigger desk, Joe. I've got three everywhere. You need a bigger desk indeed. We, I think you deserve a bigger desk, to be honest. <laughs> uh, Sonia, who's a new viewer, says, first time I've watched your show. Uh, thank you for the great tips, Bernie. I've purchased a few sewing notions, uh, Crafters Companion. Thanks for giving me inspiration uh, to get back to various projects. Oh, that's lovely. You're Katie very says, welcome. Bernie's so mysterious. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, I'm naughty. I'm naughty because I shouldn't really be teasing everyone. You shouldn't everyone. be telling us. Uh, Mish, 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 you're going to have to let me know if it's Mish or Mitch. Because I've called you both Mish and Mitch now. Uh, so please let me know. She says, uh, these are the one thing I've never tried. I've always used my stretcher frame and hand stitch to finish my quilt. Um, top tips here appreciated. Uh, they're less complicated than uh, I think Mish slash Mitch uh, thought they were going to be, which is always good. I love a top tip. I think as well, it, I, it's all about the sharing for me, Joe. Because if everyone learns things and then they keep it all to themselves, no one else is going to learn as well. So I, I really do. Oh, I've got double thread coming up there. There we go. I really do, I do like to share because I think it's going to help everyone progress as well. And then we can all make things together as well. So what I've done, I've just pulled my bottom thread up there from the bottom, because if you don't, what can happen is it can get in a bit of a bird's nest at the bottom and then your thread will snap. Like and then my you've hair. Got a, <laughs> oh my, I can't wait for it to get it cut. Um, and then I'm doing a few little stitches on the spot just to anchor that thread. So then what I'm doing is I'm keeping my hands away from the needle but sort of half firm if you like on the guide and I'm just going to say let that foot just hug the side of the guide and when you get to a, a comfortable spot you can then stop and just cut those threads I probably could have done them sooner but or you can leave them long if you want to if you sew them in or bury them in which is where you thread put them between your layers I just cut them I'm, I'm a bit of a rebel 
and then you, you're probably going to go about mid speed. If you've got a speed control on your machine, you can slow that down if you find you're going too fast. And we can see there that I'm just going round and then I'm just stopping on that seam. Now I'm stopping with my needle down. I'm going to move this around. I know that's where I'm going to start and then I'm going to line it up. And what I'm doing is I'm sort of lining up this crosshair that was on the ruler, the guide, sort of across the middle of that square. Or you can line it up with one of your seams. So it depends on your pattern, really. Or you can just go totally random and just go anywhere you prefer. And then I've stopped there because I was sort of overstretching myself. So I've stopped, repositioned my hands. If you remember, you're in control of the machine with your foot. So you can stop at any time. And then what I'm going to do is turn it around because I like to work so on this way. And I find it mesmerising what she used. This. Isn't it? Oh, I just moved that a little bit. There we go. So I've gone round there. So I've done two. So I've got the other two to do. And then this is quilted. And it's enough quilting for what it needs for this block. It doesn't need loads. And what we've made these is, so when we make these, we test them on our Gemini Stitch and Gemini The Stitch Pro. So it will go in that throat space. So if you've got a machine with a smaller throat space, then you can just work, you can work from the other side and just turn it if you find that it's struggling. So you uh, Katie Henderson says, mind blown. She <laughs> loves these quilt guides. They are awesome. I love them. Now, what's happened to you is I've got to a seam. And it's one of those seams where it's, it must be quite bulky underneath and I've got a few little layers. So a little tip for you for what to do is, what I would do is I would raise my needle up lift the foot up a little bit and just move it a little bit needle down needle up what you're doing is you're manually doing a couple of stitches there we go and we're back on track now so if you do get and this a lot of people ask me that of what happens when you've got all of the thickness of seams i can't get the guide to go over it and what it is it's not a problem with the guide it's just because of the amount of um, layers that you've got going on there so just turn them manually and you'll find that it will go around. And I mean, on the other two that I did, I didn't have that problem. But that one, it must have just been the way I pressed it. It was just a little bit thicker. There we go. And I'm going to go all the way around. And then I'm just going to turn that. And what you'll find is because I've gone round there, where I started on my first one is exactly where my guide is sitting. It fits perfectly. I'll stop when we're coming to that bit so you can see. So we can see here, this point here, you can just see right there is where I started stitching the first one. So when I finish here, it's going to be a perfect rotation. And there, that's done. I've got my gloves on. I say I've got this iron on, I've got my gloves on, I've got a right sweat on. <laughs> <laughs> Full pelt, gang canny, got a sweat okay, on. I know. So there, so we quilted. Today. So if I turn it round, so you can see the pattern on the back. If I put it on there, we'll be able to see on the overhead. Uh, really, you can see the really design awesome. there. I mean, look at that. It's perfect. Where I, I can't even see where I start and stop, Joe. There. Fabulous. That was where I start and stopped. So I've gone all the way around, and I've made that design now on there, and that's that quilted. Done. Oh, uh, uh, Mitch or Mitch says any way you want to say it, Joe. Well, I still feel bad because I still think uh, maybe I'll mix it up. Maybe sometimes I call you Mitch. Maybe sometimes I call you Mish. But uh, who knows? What do you think, Johnny? Sorry, Mish. All right, we'll go with Mish by consensus. Is it, I hope that's right, is it Mish. short for Michelle? Sorry, is it short for Michelle? I think so. Mish. So Mish. Mish. Mish, Mish, Mish. I don't think it's Mish. Mish. That's my accent, Mish, Michelle. Mish, Mish. Let's go with Mish. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kate says, Bernie, I'm a hand quilter, but you may have just converted me. I absolutely uh, love those. Lots and lots of love for them. Uh, you guys have been sending in some pictures, which I love uh, as well, which is always, aw always awesome. Look at Lou's gorgeous quilt, Bernie. Oh, my. That's card trick design. That I love that design. And do you know what, Lou? That is one of Sarah's favourite patchwork designs. She loves the card trick. Absolutely loves it. That's fabulous. I love those colours as well. They go well together, don't they? Do, yeah, absolutely. Michelle sent this in 
uh, for us, and it's a cross stitch, which she made for her mother-in-law's birthday, uh, uh, one year after her wedding in 1989. Wowzers. That, that's some intricate work there. That is, I used to do a cross stitch years ago, but my eyes won't let me now. Uh, really so gorgeous. <laughs> That's like an heirloom piece, that, isn't it? That That's is beautiful. Awesome. Really, really love that. Uh, very, very busy across lots of different things uh, on this show. Uh, let's go back through the fabrics. I mean, I need to let you know what the stock situation is because it is... The Dusky Pink Triangles has gone limited. Uh, so, am I, uh, shall I... Um, do you want me to go back through all of them? Let's go through all of them. So, this one here, which is your green floral spot. That was limited stock already, wasn't it? Awesome. We've then got the leaves as well in the sage. 80% uh, of that one has sold out and gone, which is awesome. Remember, if you're buying multiples of these, then uh, we will do our best to cut them by the meter for you. You've also got the mustard triangle, uh, approaching limited stock on the mustard triangle. Uh, we've then got the salmon, jungle leaf salmon. That is limited stock, that one, so check it out if it's in your basket. We've got the dusty pink triangles, which we've just taken limited stock a moment ago. Uh, so do be quick for that one. Then we've got the light blue leaves, uh, which is this one just here. Uh, that is almost gone. It's hanging on by a thread. See what I did there? Oh, I know. Uh, now, um, and we've also got this one as well, which is the uh, jungle lilac. Oh, is that gone, that one? That is sold out and gone. Congratulations if you got that. So we've already had four sellouts. We've got six left, uh, so do be quick for them. Uh, and all the ones that are left, I mean, most of them are limited stock, so you will need to be quick if you want to get your hands on them. Um, lots of you still chatting away. Julie says, I can't sew. I only do card making. However, I tune in just to listen to Bernie talking. Her voice is very therapeutic. There you are. Oh, like that's therapy, lovely. Bernie. Thank you. How lovely is that? Rosalind says, I have some fabric and I want to try a quilt. Bernie's convinced me to get these guides. Oh, they are fabulous. I think you'll love them, Rosalind. Um, and also, uh, what feet will fit on a brother machine? Uh, if it's not a... I'm guessing if it's not a commercial one, Bernie, it would be a low shank foot, would it? So, the majority of brother machines, apart from um, if you've got a V5 or upwards in model, the majority of them are low shank. I have a brother at home um, and it's low shank. If you know your model number, if you comment your model number in, I might be able to know off the top of my head, but I'm guessing that it's probably going to be low shank. Awesome. I hope that helps. Uh, now, I can see a lot of you with very full baskets. What I'm going to do is going to give you an opportunity to check out. Remember, though, if you want to watch and shop at the same time, it's really easy to do so here at Crafters TV. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions and lol with us or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. details of how you can watch and shop at the same time so you never need to miss uh, any of the deals but also not miss any of the demos as well uh, which of course is the all-important bit michelle wants an online sewing class with you hint inch is saying uh bernie so there you are oh well i do do zoom classes do you yeah so if you keep an eye on my page not like I not like charlotte's kind of zoom but is uh, it like no, the no. online video <laughs> conferencing technology zoom no proper proper classes um i've got a one Oh, when is this? I can't remember the date of it. If you follow me, Bernie Corner Crafters Companion, if you go on my Facebook page, and if there's nothing on there yet, I'll pop something on tonight when I get home. Um, but yeah, I, I do sort of weekly, once a fortnight sort of classes as well. So, um, and I do the odd thing on Facebook as well. Fabulous. So, yeah, keep it Keep your eyes well and truly peeled uh, uh, for Bernie's uh, upcoming online classes. Now, let's go and have a look at the decorative panels. Absolutely love these. These are for cutting gorgeous detail into rather than out of 
uh, your fabrics. Great for purses, handbags, anything you want to uh, create a little bit of open space to have something poking out from behind. Uh, so you've got here the, this one's the flower. You've also got the mosaic, the retro, and you've got the panel in there as well, the daisy panel, I should say. Really awesome deal on these, uh, which is fantastic. So you can get them all. As a Club Inspired Platinum member today, £10.80 or $15.20, saving you £32 or $50, which is awesome value. It really, really is. Something else that's great value on the show uh, today are our zips on a roll. And I've got loads to show you. So we're going to start off with, we've got so many different colours. Uh, I don't, I do have the black, sorry. I didn't realise, I knew there was a lot. I didn't realise there was this many, Johnny. Uh, I didn't have them all out. Okay, so we're gonna start with the black. Details on your screen. Uh, all the pricing uh, is the same across these, 7 99 or 19 95 uh, You've also got the mint, which is that one there. Or you can go for the denim blue, which is the only one I don't have uh, a sample of here in the studio. You can go for, oh, who doesn't want chocolate? Yum, delicious. Uh, you've got the gorgeous chocolate one there. There is also soft pink uh, for you as well, which I also, oh, hang on, is it this one here? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, honestly, it's like Challenge Annika, this. There we are. Uh, that's your soft pink. You've also got the gorgeous lemon, or if you're Italian, limone. Uh, then we have the ice grey, which is this one just here which is gorgeous. Oh, not any old green, blush green. I thought you said lush green for a moment there, Johnny. Uh, <laughs> we also have, oh, you've got to get this one. You've got to get the iconic purple, of course you have. I uh, do grab that one. We've also got the lilac, which is this one just here, as you can see. We've got biscuit, which is that one there. Gold, always believe in your soul. There you are, there's that one. Forest green is the other option we have. And ocean, ocean blue, which I don't believe I have uh, a sample of here in the studio. So uh, they are the ones. Do we also have white as well? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, so the white. Well, I've got brown over there. Okay, well, I'll work that other one out in a moment. Get yourself over to the website. You'll see the two different options. You go for those individually, or you go for the collection uh, as well, if you want to. Remember, uh, you've also got the concealed zips available for you on this show as well. Uh, Penny Barnes says, I love having craft TV on. It's like being in a craft group and having a chat and a cuppa with friends. Uh, Lou says, love watching and shopping while watching. Uh, it's snowing again here in Kentucky. Oh, which is awesome. I watched a great film last night, Bernie, uh, called Hillbilly Elegy on Netflix. Hillbilly? And it was set in Kentucky and Ohio. It was absolutely awesome. It's got Glenn Close in it. It's so, so fabulous. Oh. You get a chance to see it, it's on Netflix. Give it a watch. There yeah, you go. No, I haven't There's watched that. There's my top that. tip for your weekend. I, I will I'll note that, although I'm... Um, because I've been getting my little basic thing for me telly for treating myself for Christmas, I can't stop watching YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. So I've got, I mean, I always have the show, when I'm in my craft room, I'll have the shows on, um, just keeping us busy, because there's not always something on telly. Um, but now I have my fire stick, I just have YouTube on all the time. So I've got the shows on constantly, and then watching other things as well. So I haven't really been watching many films lately, but I will give that one a watch. Is that an old one then? Or is it? Cause uh, it's a new, also... brand new one. It's been nominated, it's got, it's Oscar nominated, I think, oh. or it's in line to win oh, well, there we an go. Oscar. So yeah, top, it was fabulous. Tip. Watched it last top night. Tip. Right, so I'm going to use these zips on a roll draw. I mean, some of those colours in there are going to go fabulous with this fabric, aren't they? I mean, I've got, I've got the white here. Um, but that pink, when you held that pink one up, that would go absolutely lovely as well. Um, so yeah, so what I've done is I've got, I've trimmed my block down. So this is the block that I made, if we recognise it, and I've got the quilt on the back. And then I've got that one, and then I did, because I was playing nicely at home, I did another one as well. So I've done that one in, the, in that way on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that, now this is a small version of what I'm going to make, I'm going to make a bigger one. This is a little pyramid pouch. So this is one that I made. I actually did this as a class last year, the year before. Oh, really? So yeah, I did this as a class. 
class one. So yeah, so I'm going to make one of those, but I'm actually going to use our blocks. So if you're doing, um, sometimes you're making the blocks and you maybe might not want to make them into a quilt. So you can make them into other projects. And I thought this is something a little bit different um, just to do, you know, to make something of them. So I've got my wadding on the back, so I've put the little bit of quilting on, and then I've got the zip on a roll. So the great thing with the zip on a roll is you're getting um, five metres of zippage and you're getting 10 of the sliders. So what that means is you can have as long or as short a zip as you, as you need. Now, if you go out and try and buy, say, a, a 22 inch zip, you could you pay three or four or five pounds for one zip. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's not a, I was going to say, so also as well, a pattern might say you need a seven inch zip, so you go and buy a seven inch. With a zip on a roll, I always like to cut them a little bit longer, so you've got a little bit to play with, and you can put your slider out the way when you're stitching. So I'm just going to, I'm not even going to measure this, I'm just going to put it along my block, and I'm just going to cut it off. And then I've got all of that in there to keep for another project. I've got quite a stash of zips on a roll. I love them. I use them all the time. Um, and I just think they're great because they're always there and you can swap and change the sliders as well. So what I'm going to do is pop a zip in here. Now I've put my zipper foot on my machine. Most machines will come with a zipper foot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way. So let me just put it near the end. Now, Here's another use for your quilting clips. Pop a quilting clip on the end of there because you can guarantee if you get a bit overzealous and you whoop and it, you pull the zip pull off the end. Okay, look. So you can put a couple of stitches in. Can you get them back on if you pull them off the end? You can. Now I've just been getting myself another little tool. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's this one going to look have, like? So when I'm next on, when I'm next on softer side, I'll bring it in. And I'll show you because I found this one and I haven't got one on us today, but I found this other nifty tool that helps you. You can put them on with a fork. You can like wedge it on a fork, but then you've got to have someone holding the fork for you. But I'll, I'll bring it in next Excuse time. Me, can you hold my fork? Four uh, candles. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so I've got my little clip on there just to keep that so it doesn't come off the end. And then if anyone's not put a zip on before, I know a lot of people might have done, but if you haven't, you've got, this is my one outside piece of my, what's going to be my pouch. And you're going to put your zip face down. So in effect, like right sides together. And then what I've done is I've just got some of that Rose and Hubble fabric that I used on the pattern. And I'm just going to use this as my lining, only because I didn't want to use my, the nice fabric. <laughs> Although this is nice fabric, but you know what I mean? I was, I was making it, I want to make it last as long as possible. <laughs> and then what I've done is I've sandwiched the zip in between there. And then just again with my quilting clips, I'm just going to clip that in place. And what I don't do is put one right at the end here because you're going to have to take it out as soon as you take it to your machine. So if it moves, just line it back up and then just pop that in there. And then I've got my, let's say I've got my zipper foot on and I'm just going to take that to the machine. Because my zip was longer, that's now well out foot, of the how way. How is a zipper foot different to your standard foot? So the zipper foot has a narrower um, section. So this section here mm. is narrower. So under there, if I get, where have I put my screw? Oh, that'll be where your zip's away. pressing against, is yeah. it? Yeah. So if I draw with the heat erasable, that's the zip teeth there. Right. And I want to sew quite close to those zip teeth. If you've got a normal foot on, it's a lot wider. So you can see how it's a lot wider. Right, so you, so you would that struggle nice to get close, yeah. Awesome, so, thanks for that, Bernie. Okay, so I've got that under there. And then because I've got quite a lot of layers here, I'm just going to lengthen my stitch length up to three because I've got quite a few layers under there. And I'm just going to stitch along. And then I say, you can just take your clips out as you go and just stitch that on. Yeah. And if your lining moves a little bit, don't worry, because it's not something, because we're not, we're no longer in patchwork land, if you like, the, the quilting police aren't about. So if you go off a little bit, it, it doesn't matter because you can always trim it. And I always like to sew off, just off the end of it there, just to get it secure. Okay. And then if I open that up, you'll see that that side of the zip now is sandwiched 
in there. So I'm going to repeat that with the other side. So I'm just going to bring them over. It's a gorgeous square that you've created there. With Lovely, that isn't it? The absolutely colours. And I think the fabrics make it as well. They really do. And I think having a plane in, I mean, to be honest, we could have used that geometric one in there. That would have looked mm -hmm. fab, wouldn't it, if I put that? Any options for sewing in a uh, zipper with a machine that doesn't have a zipper foot? Ask Karen. So if it doesn't have a zipper foot, I would actually have a look online and see if you can find a zipper foot for it. But you can move your needle all the way to the left. So if I put, the, if I put that foot on there... What you can see is you've got sort of a, on your feet you've got like a wide gap you can see yeah. if your needles all the way over to this side here it is quite um there isn't a very big gap there so you could essentially put it on with that but i would actually have a look and just see if you can find one online because they are quite um again they are quite universal so what I've done is I've, I'm putting right sides to right sides. So it's, it's the most common thing you're going to do when you're sewing something together is put right sides to right sides. But I'm going to line it up with the top of the zip. And what you'll see is at the bottom I've got, you'll think, oh, it's wrong. But it's not because if you think you've got that distance of your zip. So we're going to put that in there. And then what I'm going to do is just flip that over and do the same with the lining. Now, the great thing about Rose and Hubble is there's no right or wrong side. It's solid. So solid fabrics don't have a right or wrong side, so you can't get them mixed up. So that's great. And I've just cut 12 and a half inch squares here, if you're following along for the measurements. And my blocks turned out at um, 12 and a half as well. Uh, brown is the most popular, apparently, of um, the zips on a row. Oh. I guess brown's quite neutral, isn't it? It'll go with like it is, every, yes. other than blacks and, and maybe blues. It pretty much goes with everything else, doesn't it? Uh, to be honest, Joe, if I'm thinking about it, I think I've only got a little bit of brown left. So that's shown that I use them quite a lot as well mm. in cushions. Joe, I don't really own any black, like wardrobe-wise. Do you? Know, I do I've find that I struggle to find things that it goes with. That's the problem. It doesn't really go with everything black, does it? This has got well, black. No, this is red. This I, is black. I've got a lot of black in my wardrobe, but I try and be nice and colourful when I come here. I don't own anything, Tom, looks, looks, I don't really own any blacks or whites. Do you know why? Because I can't wash them very well. The ah, blacks right. always lighten up, so jeans and stuff always get really light. And then any whites that I've got always seem to like right. uh, bleach out a bit or you know, yeah. become a little bit off-white. Even I've started putting those colour catches in with my washing as well, but still even then. I'm obviously just not very good with the laundry, yeah. but we need check to... out how stiff my collar is today, Bernie. Well, I was going to well, ask if you've used I it. I have, and Let's normally, have a look. normally on these sort of um, toweling, they're not called toweling, are they? What are they called? Whatever these brushed shirts cotton. are. Brushed cotton. Normally, these look like they've, I've slept in them, these collars. They're all curled up and horrible. Oh, no, not with Mary Ellen spray starch. Beautifully crisp. Yes, I'm couldn't, impressed. I'm couldn't so be glad. Without it. I was thinking about it. I was thinking, oh, I wonder if George used his spray. I have. Yes. Right. So what I'm doing here is I've got the line in here. Now, what we're doing is I'm just separating it away from the zip before I press it. Because what you need to do is make sure um, that this is stitched down. Because if it doesn't, it'll catch in the zip. So I've just got that in there. Now, this is where I use pins. Because you can't do clips on this. What I'm going to do is stitch down here, but I don't want the fabric to move underneath. So let me get my pins out. I'm just going to pop a couple of pins in here. And you see how, because we had this here and that zip pulls up here out the way where you can't see it, what that means is we didn't have to struggle. So if anyone's tried to put a zip in and they've struggled trying to get the foot past the zip pull, with zips on a roll, you don't because you can, you can pull it out the way. It's great. I love them. I didn't know about them till I, till I discovered them at Crafter's Companion. I really? was well impressed. Yeah, I'd never heard of them. See, my mum's a dressmaker, so she brought me up with zips. She, I mean, she used to do alterations and change zips in trousers for people, so she always had seven-inch zips and jean zips kicking about the place. They just make, um, so, they make so much sense, don't they? When you, you know, they do, they size. do. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to lengthen my stitch again because I've got even more layers and I'm just going to sew quite close to the end here, just on both sides, Joe, just to Fabulous. secure that in. 
Awesome. Uh, don't forget, loads still to come here today on Crafters TV, remember. I'm going to be up in just over an hour's time with Sarah for launch party. Another chance to see those incredible creator, creator card dies that we launched last week. Uh, so, so busy still on those two. A brand new craft kit coming up for you as well, which I'm really excited about. That's going to be awesome. And then, of course, another chance to see what is left of the craft fault. We did, of course... Uh, bring you an installment of it this morning with Sarah. All Sarah's signature product in there, which is going to be awesome. Uh, and of course, a really big day coming up tomorrow here also at Crafters TV. So it's going to be a really fun, action packed uh, few days. A really, really big week actually uh, this week. I know that uh, it was an incredibly busy day yesterday. Uh, what with the new Nitwits launch. I know you guys absolutely, you guys. You guys actually broke the internet. Uh, so, I mean, you, you did. Forget Kim Kardashian when she got her bum out. That has got nothing on you guys. You broke the internet yesterday. Oh, Joa uh, sent a picture in of my three cats. As maybe well. it was I you was, that did it then, I in that case, Bernie. I broke the internet. I was gutted. Uh, but yes, it is, uh, we've got a fantastic week for you this week here at Crafters TV. Uh, I'll be with you all the way through until Saturday, up to the end of Saturday. Uh, and then, of course, Ben will be back here with you uh, again uh, from Sunday, uh, taking you into next week, which is going to be awesome. There we go, right. We're winning now, we're winning, Joe. Right, so this is what it would normally look like if you were putting a, um, a zip pouch together. You would then obviously sew your sides up so it's going to end up like this, so the zip's along the top. But that's quite square, isn't it? So we're going to move... We're going to move it... Move the, the ball... Oh, no. I can't... The goal posts. I was trying to move the ballpark. That's not right. <laughs> so we're going to make it a little bit Moving different. Moving the goalpost into a different ballpark. Moving the ballpark. goalpost. That's it. That's where I wanted, Joe. So what I need to do now, though, is now I need to open my zip because now when you're going to turn it through shortly after we've sewn the seams, we don't want it to come away. So the other thing now is you can either clip it right there or what I'm going to do is just do a little bit of stitching just to secure that zip in place. So I need to now change to my normal foot. So we're just going to pop that off. Pop the normal foot back on. I've got three seams, Joe, and then this is finished. So it's not a... Fantastic. I know it took us longer because obviously we've made the blocks. But if you did these with plain fabric... Well, I think we're going to have to put this up onto the uh, cabinet of creativity, this one, aren't we? Because... Um, it's the one full project that you've kind of done. In fact, there's two projects, really, isn't there? The I think, this is, I think, the, the, I think the, the block's going to be the one, though, don't you, this Bernie? Is def yeah, yeah. This is okay, definitely so we won't be vote because, you know, I mean, it would be a landslide. I mean, some people might call it undemocratic. What I'd call it is me forgetting that we had to vote, so having to sit <laughs> at the end of the show, which happens quite a lot, really, to be honest. I don't want to spray, uh, spring it on uh, our lovely Rachel. So, yeah, we'll put the quilt block uh, in... Uh, that quilt block uh, into the yes. demo of the week. Yes, because it is. It's like maybe being three this will of be, the demos. Maybe it's going to be your week, Bernie. Yeah, three of the demos. Right, so let's crack on then and get this done. So what we're going to do now is put the two outside pieces together, line it up along the bottom, and we're just going to sew along the bottom of there. So again, I'm going through thick fabric. Now, if anyone can... I don't know how well you'll hear. that the, you may, It may sound like the machine's thudding a little bit. But what that is, is because it's going through a lot of layers. So if your machine at home starts studying like that, just try stitching on two pieces of cotton. If it sounds OK, it just means it's just the layers that you're going through. If it's still making a thudding noise when it's going through cotton, it means you need to change your needle. Awesome. Yeah. And then we're going to do exactly the same with the bottom of the lining. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to check out your basket. Still uh, very small stocks left of all of those fabrics. It is so, so busy on them. Um, they're going to sell out right after the show, uh, I believe, most of them. So if they are in your baskets and you do want them, uh, do check them out. They have sold out uh, previously and then uh, they practically sold out overnight. So we've had to restock them again. All from the Craft Cotton Company as well. So brilliant quilting quality cotton in some really gorgeous uh, prints as well. So don't miss out on those. Uh, and also, uh, everything else that's on the show, if you've got very full baskets, don't forget to check out uh, now or after the show. Right, so I've got both my bottom parts now stitched. So I've got those now stitched. And this is where you just need to double check which way your zip is going. So inside, this bit here is, if I pull this to here, that's going to be open. So you want to do the side where the bottom bit is 
um, going to end up, okay? So, I'm going to line this up. See, this is the bit that confuses me, Bernie. I'm paying Yeah, close, well, I know I'm thinking attention. about it as well, thinking I may need to make sure that I've done this right. Have I done that right? I need to think. Right, let me I'll think, tell you what, Joel, let me shall think I let to you get it right. Just, shall I let you just finish that off? Why yes. don't I just quickly remind uh, everyone uh, what they've seen in this show? Because uh, lots and lots of fantastic deals that I'd hate for you to miss out on. Uh, now, remember, uh, firstly, let's whiz through the pattern packs that you saw. Uh, which feels like ages ago now, uh, but fantastic these. Four different styles of bag in here for you, uh, which is brilliant, $16.98 or $22 if you want to get your hands on those. Uh, we've also got the Quilters Guild, uh, these awesome traditional quilting blocks made so much easier by our fabulous quality dies. You've got Kaleidoscope Wheel, Geometric Bloom and Cox Comb Applique in there as well. Uh, and we've also got the quilting borders available for you as well. These are awesome. Geo Weave, uh, sorry, Geo Wave, Decorative Petal, Jewel, and the Heart in there as well. Uh, £43 of $62 as a Platinum member. These are awesome value, these decorative panels here. Uh, grab those, saving you with $32, £32 or $50 as a Platinum member there. So make sure you grab those. Uh, they are one of, uh, they're both of those this week's... Um, this week's uh, deal of the week, uh, which you'll always find uh, over on our deal of week on our sewing offers. How are you getting on over there, Bernie? I'm getting there. I've to, I've She's getting there. Yeah, I had it right the way before, but you know when you doubt yourself when you're live on air and I'm thinking, have I done that the right way? <laughs> so after this, I've squished it. So you can see, I've squished it down. So my zip's sort of here inside the sandwich. And then I'm going to open this bit out and I'm going to sew, and it looks a little bit weird, I'm going to sew all the way along there, but I'm going to leave a gap there for turning, so I'm going to quickly whiz that way, Joe, and then I'm going to get it finished in you the show, I'm determined. Whiz that through, I've got about a minute and a half left on the show. Right, uh, I'm so, stitching. Uh, speed, she's going full pelt now, home James, and don't spare the horses. Let me just mention the fabrics again for you, uh, very, very busy here, green flower spots, uh, limited stock. All of the fabrics are now limited stock. So you've got the green flower spots available. Uh, you've also got the uh, sage leaves, which is this one uh, just here. Uh, you've got the mustard triangles as well, which is that one. Uh, you've also got the uh, jungle leaf salmon. Uh, you've got the dusty pink triangle. And you've also got the light blue leaves. Very busy across all of those, so I uh, do make sure you uh, grab them. Uh, are you back with us next week, Bernie? No, I'm back. I'm on. I'm back in on the twenty eighth. Awesome for that big launch. Oh, for I'm the, not doing that. That's yeah, a bit of a for shame. Yeah, big launch. So now I'm, I'm turning this all through, Joe. Obviously, you'd go in after it. Well, you'd cut your corners. You need your big tool again, don't you? I do. <laughs> I haven't got time for that now, though. I've been. Uh, I've been too slow. Too slow, Joe. I need, uh, I need a word. <laughs> I think we can commit to letting you just push Thank this through, you. can't we? Thank you. <laughs> so what you do is you're going to have it all nice, get it all pushed through, and then you'd sew that hole up in the lining. And I was going to put a little loop on the oh, top, but I forgot. It's a big, it's a big triangle. What? Oh, Bernie, that's fabulous. Throw it over here. We'll get it on the. Uh, we'll get it onto the. Uh, oh, she's throwing it. Oh, oh. it's going to the roof. Uh, right, I'm watching the lights. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, how fabulous is that? I love that, Bernie. It's going onto the. Uh, the uh, cabinet of creativity. Right, you guys, uh, don't forget to check out your basket. Massive thanks, Bernie. We'll see you back here on the 28th. Don't forget to check out your baskets. Don't forget to join myself and Sarah. Oh, it makes like a little hat. Join myself and Sarah uh, in about an hour's time. See ya.